and we are live. Unlike the Prime Minister of uh, of Slovakia, oh, yeah. Robert, Robert Franco was just sh sh shot in the chest four times. No shit. I don't know if he's dead, but I'll tell you what, the way they dragged him in that car. Didn't look oh, good. He did, he's going to need more than a Band-Aid, I can tell you that. Good Lord. I, I did not see that on ESPN this morning. No. No, it literally happened, I think, a half hour ago. Slovakia? Yes. Or um, head and chest, I hear. Yes. Okay. Uh, wow. Slovak. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's and and isn't it ironic? This is two days after he rejected the World Health Organization Global Pandemic Accord. He was one of the really, really vocal ones who said, eh, 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 eh. We, we Yeah, that, that is ironic. Uh, the World Health Organization trying to keep everybody alive. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, this could be the, uh, oh, God, what was that guy? It's the Archduke. Yes, the Ar the Archduke Ferdinand moment of World War I. It's, it's approximately the same area. You Great. know, it, it's, um, and... Those people over there, they got a little bit different kind of mindset. <laughs> you think? Slavics are not to be fucked with, dude. <laughs> well, they, you know what they they were under a boot heel for a while, and they, yeah. they really don't they really don't cotton to that too well. No. No. No, no. And, uh, and then the other part of not being um, uh, behind who is that he's not behind the EU. Yep. Is what, and, uh, yeah. And apparently he, um, he just announced that he would not be sending any more weapons to Ukraine. Ukraine. So, oh, let the games begin. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's jacked up. This is, I don't think that people really appreciate the, the global, how, how, Hey, we're all sitting on one like this event, just like the Arch Duke Ferdinand. Everyone was like, Oh, what a shame! And the next thing you know, he was World War One, <laughs> which, which. Of course, wasn't called World War One when it happened. Oh no! You know, no one announced. Okay, this is the one of two. <laughs> Let's give it hell, guys. <laughs> it's all it takes is because what a lot of people don't realize is after the Arch Duke was shot. All the other people that were shot 
after him. He was just he was just the freaking kickoff. And I think we're at that point. I mean, shit, Patrick, you were there. What was going on in 1901? It wasn't, it wasn't that early. It wasn't that early. I know. I just like fucking with you. Yeah, I know you do. I know uh, let's see. When did karma's, a, karma's a bitch. Let's see. Got razor sharp teeth, and she's got a memory that's spotless. So yes, yes, remember and, that, my friend. And undefeated. <laughs> that is correct. That's correct. <laughs> uh, it, it's the reason I ask you that is you're a lot like me. You're like a history buff, you know, especially like World War II, and you know. The error, the error that your dad was actually involved in. Um, I mean, do you see a lot of similarities globally in this no. movement? No, no, I don't. Um, we were pretty much isolated at that point by our own choice. Yeah. Um, in both instances, to be honest. Um, in World War I, we certainly didn't pick sides until, I think it was 1917, 1916. Uh, let me shift this for just a second. Hypothetically, let's look... Uh, let me ask that same question, but uh, let's frame it as the U.S. is uh, the communists, All right? And the communists are trying at that time, they were trying to get everyone riled up. You know, they wanted World War One. You know, that's that's what the push was. They wanted Persia. You know, um, um, uh, God, what were public? Um, um, the Weimar Republic. Republic, they wanted all of that friggin' destabilized, and that's why the um, the friggin' communists shot um, um, for damage, right? Because they wanted, they needed a war, so they needed people to get shot and what i'm saying is that the world order at that time the action was the communist against persia the communist against uh the weimar republic you know, it, it it was that whole area just in a lot of turmoil. Now, mind you, we weren't involved yet. But if you look at us right now, we're the ones shaking the beehive. You know, we're over there sending money to uh, Ukraine, sending weapons. We're basically turning our backs on Israel because Israel is basically stopping the shit out of Hamas and Iran, which is led by the CIA, 
And I think we are our intelligence agency and the global progressive movement. They're actually doing exactly what they said they do. They'd set the world on fire so they can reshape it. It just, we are the Weimar Republic. America is the Republic that the global progressives are now trying to destabilize. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that that's a fair statement. I think they've been trying to destabilize it for a long time. And the question is, are they going to do it? That remains to be seen. You know, you find Biden is is uh, conflicted in his um, ceasefire demands, and yet he delivers a billion dollars worth of arms to Israel. Um, because if he doesn't, he stands a chance of losing a portion of the Jewish vote. Um, and he also will coalesce independents and Republicans against him. Um, he's losing the black vote. He's losing the Latino vote. He's losing the Asian vote. Um, so he, I mean, he could be in the old folks home sniffing hair and eating ice cream real fast. Um, Do you think they're going to try and replace him? I think it's too late. I unless, unless unless something happens to him. Happens to him. <laughs> uh, stroke anybody? Stroke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then no, it's it's too late. And and you know who do they have? Newsom, oh, that's 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 a cluster mess out there. It, it's, yeah. one, it's one bad decision after another, and all you have to do is hold up his accomplishments and say you got a thirteen percent tax rate in the state of California. You got blackouts and brownouts. You're demanding that by twenty thirty five, all cars being sold are EVs. And you don't have a grid, a power grid that you can rely on. Oh, did I mention wildfires? Because we're not going in and clearing out the crap that fuels those fires. Yeah, it's no, not. No. Out there. no, no. Yeah. <laughs> and God knows how much water they've dumped into the Pacific Ocean that just fell in, in this past winter. Because you know they do that on a regular basis. Yep. Rather than put it into the San, Inverno, San Bernardino Valley, where the farmers need it, yeah, we have to save the darter snail. We can't, yeah, we can't. Fuck that snail. We can't. But it tastes really good. Oh, is it? Yeah, butter and garlic. Yeah. Oh well, shit. Hang on it's, a second. Uh, if you at that escargot, yeah. yeah. That's a tough choice: feed America or save the little tasty morsels. I, I'm thinking it takes a lot of them. Who actually make a plate? Oh, it does. It does. It, yeah. Man, yeah and, and, and somebody, somebody mentioned Mike is running. Mike's not going to run. Mike, Mike, no, Mike couldn't. No, Mike no. couldn't the, the scrutiny would be too much. They'd go, oh, hey, there's a bump there. Yeah. The first I'm LGBTQ. What the know, hell is that? A man? XYZ president. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Um, it's really getting, really getting nuts right now. And I mean, Bitcoin, and did you hear Joe Biden, what he put out after they released the inflation numbers? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Son, I'm calling on grocery stores to lower prices. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, not, you know, 
the fundamental increase or the fundamental <laughs> factor for increase in all prices, everything in terms of this inflation, is his restriction of domestic oil production. Yes. Day one, day one, he said, we're going to shut this bitch down. And he yeah. did it. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And now yeah. they're hiding the numbers. They're hiding the numbers. Three percent is not where we're at. Oh, not even damn close. And I'll tell you what, uh, God, when was this? Like last week, I actually talked with a friend of mine who worked, who still is employed at Hogan Trucking. They're hiring owner operator on their writing contracts with owner operators for three dollars a mile are you kidding me nope i might get in a truck you're dead i'm about to buy one and just jump in a damn truck three dollars a mile that's hell when i worked there you were rich if you got a buck 25. Yeah, but what was at that time? What was diesel? Uh, when I left, maybe a dollar forty, dollar fifty. Yeah, it's three sixty now, and that's here. That's yeah, here in California, they're they're touching six dollars a gallon for regular. Yeah, it's so. And did you see? And you'll appreciate this. They removed coffee off of the inflation basket. Did they remove milk also? Uh, uh, they removed coffee and and I think anything that used cocoa, uh, chocolate. Because cocoa is up like, what's it up, like 400% in the last? Yeah, season. yeah, it's nuts. And what about sugar? Is sugar still on there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. it better be. Sugar's on. But they removed coffee because it, it, it was up 60% in the last 45 days or something. Oh, no, I'm sorry, 60% in the last three months. So March was the last month that they included coffee. Pretty soon, all they're going to include in the inflation basket is the fucking basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For those who buy baskets, it ain't bad right now. <laughs> Everyone else, you're fucked. Yeah, invest in baskets. Yeah, underwater basket weaving. <laughs> uh, I, I remember this from yesterday. Uh, Mr. Olfang said, just brought up the 50 cent a gallon tax that's going to be hitting uh, California. Uh, I heard about that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, why there's anybody left in that state is beyond me. But and the funny thing is, they're going to take they're going to take their past voting record and they're going to go to other states and 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 vote the same way. I, they're not. I, winning. I think Florida, Texas, Missouri, all of the red states. I hate to do it, but we need to. We need to employ a litmus test for these fuckers moving in. Because what California is going to shit. The people are leaving California going, I can't deal with this. Now, where's me something to, pro where's me something progressive to vote yes on in town? Yeah. 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 No, well, they're up in they've gone to Oregon. They've gone to Oregon. They've gone to Washington. 
and they've made those far more progressive um, than they had ever been. And now they're trying to inch into Idaho, and the folks in Idaho are going, oh, fuck, no, you aren't. See, oh, no, you aren't. It's, it's, we have a situation here, all right? And this is a carbon copy of Germany 1928. There's going to be a, when Trump's elected, a lot of these illegal aliens are going to be escorted out. And there's going to be a lot of progressives that are going to be mildly encouraged to go with them. I don't think people understand. The people of Texas, they ain't right. right? They don't handle shit the same way. No. I right. Californians going to Nevada, eh, you'll probably be okay. Californians going to Texas and in like wine country, Texas. Yeah, the hill country. Yeah, you're fucked. You say you go out to a barbecue place. I double dog dare you. Have your Joe Biden 2024 sticker on your car as you pull up to Bubba's and watch how quickly that Bubba and the whole gang gonna give you side eye and gonna give it that old Texas squint. In your part. Folks, there are people that love their country more than they cherish your life. And love their freedom more than they cherish your life. You go in there trying to, you know, educate Texans. Texans are going to educate your ass into the ground. And what you don't understand, folks, the sheriffs agree with the people. Look at Florida. Florida's got a lot of the same mentality in a lot of the areas. We got sheriffs down in, in here in Florida telling people, oh, yeah, someone breaks in your house. Hell, make sure you shoot them more than once. Yeah. Properly ventilate. Yeah, and that's that we don't protect criminals. <laughs> we protect the people that love the area. You cannot, you cannot come into Texas and Florida and, and Alabama and all of these lower states states in hell, hell, Missouri. I think, I think, I think Missouri is, is, is one of the, because everyone outside of Kansas City and outside of St. Louis, they're so red that they, they look like they're about to pop. And St. Louis is losing such population. I mean, can you blame him? No, hell no. You go downtown, and it. Well, it, the other morning, the other morning downtown, seven thirty, there was a shootout. No, uh, homeless. Two homeless guys got into it. One of them pulled out his pistol and shot the other. And the suspect was shot by a police officer. There's St. Louis cleaning up the streets. And well, and then and then and then after that was done, 
they decided we're going to remove the homeless village that had popped up on City Hall's front lawn again, uh, which is where these guys were residing. And now they're using it uh, to get out and talk about mental health. Where were you before this shit hit the fan? Yeah. And actually, if, 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 if you're in St. Louis, if you're on the front steps of City Hall, if you go about a mile and a half to your right, there used to be a St. Louis City mental hospital there. But they had to close that, you know. And then, like you and I were talking about with Larry Rice, that old boy, he helped homeless. He, did. he helped hundreds, thousands. He, did. he did a tremendous job. And who shut him down? City Hall. City Hall shut him down. That guy housed and fed hundreds of homeless people. And and City Hall's great idea. Oh, that Larry Rice, you know, we're trying to revitalize St. Louis. We want some more of them clubs over on Washington. Yeah. So let's get rid of the one son of a bitch who's actually trying to keep the city livable. <laughs> right, right. And these clubs are open till 1, 3 o'clock in the morning. And, and I don't care who you are, your father was right. Nothing good happens after midnight. Alexa won't go down on Washington. Oh, no. Never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time she went there, I, I, I think someone grabbed her wallet. And one of her other friends, uh, uh, I I can't remember, so I don't want to like right. overdrive. But a couple things that weren't good happened, and she's just she's like fuck Washington Street. I ain't going down there no more. And. Now, let's, the Federal Reserve has to lower interest rates, has to. But what they need to do to save the dollar is raise the interest rate. So they need to raise it, but they have to drop it because there are banks, there are we it we need some of Caitlin Long's shit she's been putting out lately. Read um who was that guy up in Canada who just said we're we're screwed. And this was like a high level government official. Is this the uh, the opposition party's leader? I think is it that, is. No, I think it is. I, he's this is the guy. This is the guy who's in the conservative party that constantly butts heads with Trudeau. Yeah, yeah. Um, come on, uh, you folks up north, give me a name. Yeah, what? It begins what? with a P. Uh, I, I believe it's uh, French Canadian. Um, Pierre. Yeah, it's it's all I know is that this is all. He's a solid guy. He's a oh, solid yeah. guy. And and, and uh, yes, yes. Yep. Cool. Oh, yeah. This is. This is not good. The Federal Reserve has no, all they can do is jawbone. That's it. They can't make a move because if they drop interest rates, friggin' inflation's gonna launch into the damn atmosphere. Friggin' Bitcoin's gonna go nuts. 
And if they drop, it, uh, if, if they raise interest rates, the economy's toast. There's too many loans rolling over. And, um, and America has too much national debt. If well, they raise the interest rate, we won't be able to pay an interest only. They're, they're facing a result, a revolt um, out of the Western provinces in terms of uh, their fuel, um, their oil production, and what they're willing to contribute and not willing to contribute. That, that will make for an interesting election coming up. Here's, More power to them. More power to them. Here's a great question. What happens if they do nothing and leave it alone? That's that's the same as if you drop it. Just not as powerful. Right. Because everything else is going up. Yep. So him saying, ah, we're, uh, we're, we are data dependent. The fuck you are. You are stuck. You are, you can't go up. You can't go down. And the bonds, watch for the 10-year, folks. Would you agree, Patrick? Watch for the 10-year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because if the 10-year hits 5%, this show's over. This show's over, folks. And look at Japan. The Federal Reserve in Japan are now doing direct swaps so that Japan won't sell their bonds or treasuries. Because there's an auction coming up. There ain't no one going to buy them fucking bonds except the Federal Reserve. That's direct monetization, folks. Because <laughs> now it's reaching the point where the banks that they usually rely on for buying these new treasuries, nope, they can't roll over the debt. They can't afford to. If they did the next month, they'd go under. Folks, it's a nice fund to get into, though. I mean, the bond fund would be is a decent fund to get into at the moment. Oh, it is on a short term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and mean, that's why I'm that's why I'm saying fund, not the bonds themselves. Right, right. It, it's. If you're in a one month or a three month, you're actually doing okay. Well, maybe not the three month if it keeps going the way it's doing. <laughs> it's going to change. But if you're holding it, it's three. I mean, you, you have a depreciated interest that you're getting for those last two months or last month and a half. Okay. And when it comes turn, you flip it around and you buy one. <laughs> yeah. Learn your lesson. <clears throat> We're reaching a point. This is not financial advice, by the way. That's right. We're reaching a point where the unattractive rate will be the one month. And that, and everyone will flood in. Like, can we have a one week? Can we have a, a one day? You know, come on. Come on. Yeah. It's like martini and one flew over the cuckoo's nest of half a cigarette. Yep. And what people don't understand <laughs> is this is how, hi, how hyperinflation works. You ruin your 10-year. You ruin your 5-year. You ruin your 3-year, your 2-year, your 1-year, your 6-month, your 3-month, your 1-month, and then it's down to the genuine dollar. This is the same thing as a bond, except this is an 
instant transfer. That's it, folks. So as as all of these friggin' bonds are failing, it eventually fails to here. And once this fails, game over, folks. 34 minutes on YouTube. Okay. All right. Um, uh, are you busy or you got time to hang out? No, I can hang out. I got to take right. a break. I got to take a break real fast. But, yeah, I can hang out while you switch over. Yep. I'm switching over right now. Uh, oh, hang on. Word from the sponsor. Uh, Ever wondered how safe your online activities really are? How secure is your digital footprint? In the vast realm of the Internet, privacy and security are paramount. Without adequate protection, your personal data might be at risk. There are solutions to these issues and today we're going to talk about two of them. Introducing Liberty Laptops from Calix Solutions. These cutting-edge devices are meticulously designed to bolster online privacy, providing you the liberty to surf the internet incognito. The World Wide Web can be a wild frontier, but with Liberty Laptops, your online privacy is always protected. We also present you Crypto Laptops, designed with cryptocurrency users in mind. Equipped to support a myriad of wallets and exchanges, these laptops are tailored for seamless cryptocurrency transactions. They offer enhanced security protocols to keep your digital assets safe. Crypto Laptops ensures a secure and smooth cryptocurrency experience. It's time to take control of your online privacy and security. Venture over to Kellex Solutions and explore our Liberty Laptops and Crypto Laptops. Don't forget, our affiliate program lets you earn $50 per sale. Visit calixsolutions.io now or call 702-845-8276 for more information because your online safety is our priority. All right, we're back. All right, we're switching over to the private server. Folks, whew. hold on tight. Hold on tight. All right, if you want to join us on the private server, I got a good hour and a half worth of shit to talk about. I'm good for a half hour. All right, he's good for a half hour. Can I get 45 minutes? All right, um, you know, you might be able to get 45. Click the link under here in the description. Join the private server. And above Patrick's head to the right is a QR code. That's a private server. Thank you, Patrick. Welcome. Now, at noon Eastern time, Patrick and I will be on Calix Solutions Cyber Stuff. Patrick, let them know how they can watch us on Cyber Stuff. Sure. As a Calix Solutions client, you will have access to your portal. Um, oh, and we'll get back around to that. But in the portal, underneath the Calix cyber suite there is an opportunity for you to um, get a subscription to cyber stuff or to the helpline um, the helpline is in addition to seeing the weekly videos and um, having access to the archives you can also submit questions that you may have about your crypto laptop or your liberty laptop that are outside of the stream of some uh, very fundamental um, support issues. So, um, you know, the bigger stuff like um, how do I stake? What's the best way for me to set up a hotspot? Um, those kinds of things. Uh, what are the exchanges that I should be using for purchasing this crypto or that crypto? Um, anyway, that's all av available in the, within the portal. If you haven't accessed the portal, Give it a try. It's gonna. You, you'll find out the instructions once you get there. Um, and if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't work for you, let me know. Uh, send me an email at info at calixsolutions.io, and um, and we'll uh, first verify your credentials and you are who you say you are, um, and then we'll get you get you going from there. So. All right. Uh, yep. 
All right, and if you got questions, give us a call at 702-845-8276. Or you can call the club and we'll pass it on. Yeah, we've only had that phone number for three plus years. I know, and it's 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 just hard to remember. I it's like my social security number. I still don't have that down either. I right, well, we're off to the private server. Hold, please. <laughs>